Through the branches of a subtropical rainforest, a great arboreal chase is taking place between two of the strangest dinosaurs. Scampering for its life is the pigeon-sized Yi Chi, a unique dinosaur for covering of feathers and strange bat-like wings that are spread across his long fingers and along his flanks. Though he is not capable of powered flight, he is an adequate glider and an expert at maneuvering through the trees, but so is the one chasing him. Pedro Pena, a meter-long raptor-like predator who is also covered in feathers. Though he looks remarkably like a bird, his flying ability is almost non-existent, making him a glider as well. The Yichi has become the latest target of the larger predator, and he is frantically running through the branches of the trees to try and escape his pursuer. Using his long fingers and the claws on his feet, he clambers up the trunk of the tree and then leaps to his feet and runs along the branch holding his arms close to his body. The Penapena is not far behind, shaking the branch as he landed on it and running after his prey. Upon reaching the end of the branch, the Yichi leapt into the air and extended his limbs, revealing his full wingspan. Though not much larger than a pigeon, from beneath he looked like a miniature dragon. He didn't feel like one, however, as his pursuer leapt after him, spreading out his own wings, gliding after his prey, though not quite as aerobatically. Soaring through the air, the Yichi dodged leaves and branches as he descended, aiming for another tree trunk. When he landed, he instantly began to crawl up the tree, startling four sparrow-sized Epidex Pepterix, who also bolted up the tree, fearing they were being hunted. However, when the Pedopenia slammed into the tree, all the smaller dinosaurs moved a little faster. This was the third tree the Yichi had jumped to after running circles through the branches and diving between narrow spaces. Yet still, the larger predator followed. He had to change his strategy. He ran onto the first branch he came across, but this time swung underneath the branch and then let go, immediately swiveling midair and extending his wings once more. The Pedopenia lost track of the small glider, but quickly reacquired him and propelled himself into the air. The Ichi landed on the ground and began to run, not so easy with all the extra skin along his limbs. His pursuer landed further back, but did not have the same handicap, and so was much faster on the ground. Fortunately, the small glider found a rotting log and crawled into it, seeing a clear exit at the other end. Not far behind him came the Pedopenia, but he could not simply walk through the space in the log. He had to squeeze through the sections that were almost too small for him, giving the Yichi time to put some distance between them. As he exited the log, he ran as fast as he could. He knew this area well, though he had only seen it from the trees. He knew salvation was just ahead. The Penopenia burst out of the log with a blood-curdling screech and bolted forward, its heavy breathing almost as loud as its footsteps. The Yichi could feel the hunter getting closer and closer, but knew to look back would only slow him down, knowing that escape was just ahead. The larger predator bore down on his target when he saw where they were heading, the cliff that looked over the valley. The Pedopenia drove his feet into the ground and slid through the leaves, trying to grind to a halt, but the Yichi didn't stop. As soon as he got to the edge of the cliff, he jumped and spread out his wings and soared away from the high forest into the free open air. The Penapenya stopped at the cliff's edge and screeched after the prey that had got away, his long chase all for nothing. The airborne Yichi was used to gliding short distances between trees and rarely got into the vast open air. His descent wasn't that high, but his gliding wings were excellent at catching the wind currents so he could enjoy the wind flowing over him as he casually descended into the valley, where his life and death struggle would begin again. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will be breaking down the dinosaur that really threw a spanner in the works when it came to dinosaur and bird relations, Yichi. Yichi is known from a single fossil discovered in 2007 in the Taiji Shang Formation in China. It lived between 164 and 159 million years ago in the late Jurassic, and its name means strange wing in Mandarin. It grew to about the size of a pigeon, with a wingspan of 60 centimeters, and weighed about 380 grams. Examining the fossil showed that Yi Chi did have a covering of feathers, 
However, these weren't flight feathers, more like downy feathers seen on flightless birds. Then, of course, they saw the long membrane that stretched between the fingers, along the arms, and down the flank of the animal, most similar to bat or pterosaur wings. It had three long, slender fingers, with the first being the shortest and the third being the longest, which helped support the extended wing membrane. However, what appears to be a forefinger isn't a digit at all. Instead, it is an extended wrist bone or a calcified rod of cartilage called a stylofoam element that is completely unique amongst dinosaurs. However, even with the bat-like wings and feathers, Yichi was likely not capable of powered flight. It lacks the strong muscles needed for constant flapping, like large pectoral muscles, and so it seems that it was more using its wings to glide like modern sugar gliders and flying squirrels. The area it lived in was a large and confined forest, so it likely used its wings to glide from tree to tree in search of food or when escaping predators. Its skull was short and blunt-snouted, with a downward-turned lower jaw, with small teeth only present in the tip of the jaws. Incredibly, the fossil was so well preserved that scientists have been able to speculate what colours it might have had when it was alive. Yichi is believed to have a greyish colour over most of its body, with orange or red-like colours on its arms and head. Yichi belongs to a special family of dinosaurs called the Scansoria Riptidae, which contains four species, all of which lived around the same time and in the same area. All were tiny, between sparrow and pigeon size, and thus are known from very few fossils. Though they are believed to have all been arboreal climbers, the discovery of Yichi brought into question whether all of them had wing membranes, as they all share the long fingers. However, without hard evidence, this is just a theory at the moment. Though we don't know what the tail of Yichi looked like, it is usually depicted as having one similar to its close relatives, such as Epidextoricteryx. Unfortunately, we know even less about these other species than we do about Yichi, with there being almost only one fossil for each species. They represent a fascinating shift in dinosaur evolution that seemed to be pushing small dinosaurs to life on the wing. As we can see, Yichi had feathers like other small dinosaurs, but it developed simple membranes like a bat, or more accurately, like a pterosaur. After all, pterosaurs and dinosaurs have closely related ancestors. However, it was the dinosaurs that developed their feathers to be used for flight that would later evolve into birds that would win over Yichi and its relatives. In fact, competition with feathered dinosaurs and the already very successful pterosaurs meant that dinosaurs with wing membranes never got past this more primitive stage. Unfortunately, Yichi seems to have the worst of both worlds here. Its feathers are for insulation and not flight, its wings are cumbersome and maybe even intrusive, and it may have only been able to glide awkwardly for short distances. Still, Yichi and its kind show just how diverse dinosaurs were, and are an excellent example of convergent evolution, but also the adaptability of nature to evolve different types of body forms for different types of niches. It is also incredibly unique, and we are lucky to have found such an incredibly small and complete find in the first place. But what do you think of Ichi? Do you believe that there are many other bat-like dinosaurs out there yet to be discovered? Or do you think that this small family was an inevitable dead end of evolution? What lesser known dinosaur would you like me to do a breakdown on next? And until then, please like, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching.